you're excited, make some noise. Make some noise. Wow. I am honestly blown away. I don't think I've ever seen Russ this packed. <laughs> the people of God show up. The people of God show up. Well, welcome, welcome to Westminster Theological Seminary and this hip hop concert called Lyrical Edification. I'm so excited to be your host. My name is Brian Selby. I'm a second year MDiv student here at Westminster and I am absolutely thrilled for this concert. Thrilled. One of the reasons why I'm thrilled is that, you know, Reformed theology isn't known for being rhythmic. <laughs> it, it seems oxymoronic, but tonight that is coming true. Reformed theology, hip hop, and rhythm are coming together all in one glorious combination. And I'm so excited for it. Um, so, it's a, it's, a great, it's a great opportunity, so uh, before we begin, I just want to say that on behalf of Westminster, we're excited to have you. We're excited to have you. Um, so, um, so, in the words of Colossians chapter 3, verse um, 16 and 17, it says, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly teaching and admonishing one another with psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, making melody to the Lord with your heart. And that's what we have come to do. We have come to lift high the name of Jesus Christ, the one who died, the one who rose again from the dead, and the one who is seated in the right, the right hand of God the Father Almighty in glorious session, ruling and reigning all things. And we have come to lift high his name tonight via the medium of hip hop. So before we do, let's ask God's blessing on this night. Gracious God and Father, thank you for this time. Thank you for your son. Thank you for a sacrifice. Thank you for the glorious salvation that he wrought by his own blood. Thank you that he has in fact gathered and is gathering a people for himself, chosen and holy people who were once not a people, but now his people, a people who did not have mercy, but now have received mercy. And in fact, you have called us out of darkness into your glorious light to proclaim your glorious excellencies. May we do that here tonight. May our worship, may our praise, may the lyrics, may the way that we are interacting with the lyrics glorify you on this night. So, Father, thank you so much for the people of God gathered. May there be connections, new connections, old connections um, reestablished. Re and may we lift high the glorious name of you, our God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. I pray these things in the glorious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Yeah. Um, so, honest. Honest is going to be our first performer. <laughs> Honest is a first-year student from, uh, at, um, at Westminster here. He is from Malawi. From Malawi. And one of the beautiful things about Honest is that he released an album, I want to say last summer. And the purposes behind that album was to combat the prosperity, health, and wealth gospel that was being promulgated in Malawi. And he says that's not the answer. The answer is Jesus Christ, the one who lived, who died, and raised from the third day, on the third day. So come, Honest, wherever you at, ma'am. Come through. Let's hear it for Honest. Woo -hoo! Whoa, whoa, whoa. When I say Jesus, y'all say Lord, Jesus, Lord. Jesus. Lord. When I say he is, y'all say King, he is, King. he is. King. Greeting from the Republic of Malawi, where the native language is Chichewa, right? And so tonight I will be rapping in my mother tongue, and please, when the music starts, don't think I'm speaking in tongues, yeah? 
<laughs> I don't want a Dr. Briones to kick me out of his class. <laughs> and I want to teach you all three words specifically, three Chichewa words tonight. And the first word is Yesu, which is Jesus in English, right? Talking about the prosperity gospel and uh, false teachings. Uh, yesterday I read somewhere that no single person who claims that a Christian got the power to speak things into existence has stepped up to stop the coronavirus in China. Years back we had the Ebola virus in Africa. No single Christian stood up or came forward to stop the spread of the corona, I mean the Ebola virus right in Africa. Why? Because there's only one true creator and that's God who is sovereign over all. And so the first song that I'm doing tonight, the title is Yesu. So when I say, that's like there's only one creator. All you got to say is Yesu, 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 Yesu. Five times. Catch it? Let's try it out. Yesu, 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 Yesu. We know what Sali. DJ Average, there you go. I'm, I'm going to say something going to knock your lights off. God has the power to take life, but he can't. He got the power to do it, but he won't. He's bound. He can't. He says death and life is in the power of whose tongue? Yours. You ready for this? You want something to knock your lights off? You choose when you live. You choose when you die. Are you ready? Death and life's in the power of your tongue. Your tongue. Wrong. Wrong! Turn this mic on! Shit! Uh. Only God creates! Only God creates! Uh. Listen! Yo! If truth! I'm a sucker way to die. I'm Billy Alimit and Bosana Kama Lila I. Mochele was silly, I'm Crystal Bessie Gulibe. No Malila Crystal first day, New Year. Where's the answer school of Pusida Panchida? Don't a Crystal Malila Kaleta Yanikida. Attack of Woody Gida Scoopisi Gulibida. Till in the puff, your sucker went to die. The lie. Sure. Attention, you put this so you come on, teach your positive confession. Crystal one in the pump for your lenga. Chapa show you never had you day, yeah, you go from that declaration. Come on, got it in my lenga. Ebola at a puta. When you have a side, you let's up. Pull a mule, pull a co, what your pets are. Now you could just say you text up. Give a lenga, mess up. Yo, what you got, Ali, for your covers. Yes, yes, yes. Sure, we got one lenga, you want back in God, it's Ali. Yes, 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, in English is Jesus. The second word that I want to teach you tonight is Osamango Meza, right? Tell your neighbor, Osamango Meza. So that literally means don't just swallow. But in the song, it's being used figuratively to mean don't just believe every teaching that's being preached out there. We got to be like the Bereans. We got to exercise discernment. And so this song is taken from Acts chapter 17, verse number 11. The Bereans were of no more character than the Thessalonians, but after hearing Paul preach, they went back to examine the scriptures to confirm if that which Paul was preaching was true. Do you take time to examine what you hear against what the scripture says? Get blessed with awesome and amazing, DJ Average. Uh. Uh. My chichi they want seven. Seventeen. Professor ya eleven. One one. Balinkani my brethren. Who got this and tell we would you well and get for certain? Can you get your priest to be there? Oh we have to leak it up for a couple. I'm a castle so what can my never wear up for one and catch it for a mawa was the soyenera. Mawa could see me kiss out. 
Anaposa Thessalonica Amala ndila maundi tima wa ika Kumaka vitirisa kona zonga mala ikira Maulo nisira, ainda sirira Apele ya kuposa mena mbili tichitira Tika takuvela hula ligi tima sisira Sitima kawona so tima kala tazifira Koma wosa nko meza Sifanane tima lemba Dati wosa nko meza Karanga timpele ya hula liku kabwela Kaya wuku chokela Kwa mtu ye mwe ambiri ya mamuvela Tisa mango fikira kumeza Poka poka zo mwamfaso Zifanane di malemba Don't just believe what you hear Unless it agrees with what the Bible says Listen A little yeast is only takes us out the soul But you should know the truth will leave in me Oh, and the enemy is after you Oh, wasa mangu meza Wasa si wajomu yungu jani jani Sing along Wasa mangu meza Yere gizi mozi wala lila joji Wasa mangu meza Yere gizi ya malo yere la joji Wasa mangu meza Wasa mangu meza Listen. Chini ngo mera boya kudi bata script chance mo ye na jubo ngo chesi kaniza sikudi ni busi mu kungo mesa chowo ne kabusi ni busi mu chesa na mesa ku ye sasi. Besides by bondi, no kwa ni dandi Si du kuso weka fumbulu tola nyo wani Tu uti mwote yo 316 Ima timigiza God's word is sufficient Ah, usa mangu meza Kusa si wajo mungu jari jani Aha, usa mangu meza Kuhili mwote wa liga bili There you go Ah, kuhili kezi ya malo mele ya jonchi Aha, usa mangu meza, usa mangu meza For the last time, yele gezi amalo ere la chonchi. Oku nili mozi wola likambili. Yele gezi amalo ere la chonchi. Hallelujah. Amen. After knowing that God. Is our king. Yesu is your king, is my king. After knowing that he has graciously given us his word, that among us are the things that can be able to exercise discernment. The last word that I want to share with you tonight is senza, which means can. And the song is taken from the story that Jesus told. If you want to follow me, carry your cross daily and do what? Come after me, follow me. You hear people talking about, oh yeah, once you're a Christian, you can't suffer. And it's very easy to say, you know what? The prosperity gospel is not real. But the temptation is when we're going through some hard times, we question if God truly is sovereign, right? We're all prone to think, God, where are you? Do you really care? When we're so hard hit with something, we're like, Jesus, I feel like you no longer care about me. So the last song is just a reminder to all the believers in the house tonight that carry your cross, senza, in spite of whatever you might mean in life, whatever hardship it might be, suffering, pain, death, carry your cross and follow God. Amen. 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 The gospel of God ought to come from the Bible. From the word of God. And this is what the prosperity preachers say. Uh. Come to Jesus, kuti wutu kuke. Come to Yesu mako machu mate kuke. Come to Jesus, umafuna chan. What? Kungo pona uzi pesa kutapa kutaya walai. Uka pona huli pesa banja. I see. Kungo pona uka lani mwana. I see. Usi ya kudwara. Ule mela sanga soti kuli mafuto kuzingo fakwa ye nawa. I see. 
Such so need a major so fun a troop. A kuti ti pone ti pesa masut. Utenga wangu ino. Umene watu kaba no basku magamba soti yesu wati samitse kuchimu. You are Caesar. Carry your cross. You are Caesar. Carry your cross. Caesar tanda wakus. You follow God. Who decide ne? Natela ambuye ali. You are Caesar. Carry your cross. You are Caesar. Carry your cross. Caesar tanda wakus. And follow God. His yoke is easy. Chifundo changa ndi Joseph uka, ndi Joseph uka. Zima pona until tika ziwandi fe wachi man. Zimu waka ndi tuza tini mundi ma. Tipo miti ma ya chupo panda ya sundi nyasi ima funi kama ziwake ina sedo mpe white. Mike so much so much in Ipo Tipo pamene tili mojo pamene tinga la pechimo Lotu Yomula nila yesu ni no tawi Tika fo panda yesu ni gahena wakutali Tati siti bona Kutada zonona Zoko masoti londa tika bona Ayy Inde mulungu wa matida litza Kwa masiti pona kutada so pindu litza Iwe senza Carry your cross Iwe senza Carry your cross Senza ntanda wako And follow God Uudi sadene Anatele ambuye Sing along Iwe senza Carry your cross Iwe senza Carry your cross Senza ntanda wako And follow God Uudi sadene Anatele ambuye Listen How many of you know The health and wealth God gospel isn't the gospel of God's word. The gospel of God's word includes trouble and difficulty and suffering. But you see, the glory of it all, men and women, that in the midst of all of that, you and I become victorious because of the success of God's love for us. He loves us so much that he enables us in the midst of our difficulties. Carry your cross. Carry your cross. Follow God. Amen. Yeah. Let's hear that again. Yesu. Let's hear that. Yesu. That was tight. That was tight. All right. We do have some people standing in the back. So if you have an open space next to you, would you lift up your hands so we can seat some of these people? Make your way down, don't be afraid of the people of God. <laughs> we got some spots up front here. We got one up here. I got one here. I got two here. We got three over there. We got five. That's going to be coming out here. His name Ian Buchanan. He's going to be spitting something new off of his upcoming album called The Covenant of Grace. This song will be called Administration. I'm um, expounding the Abrahamic Covenant. So let's hear it one last time for Ian Buchanan. What's going on, Westminster? Glory to God. Amen. Shout out to my wife, Erin Buchanan, for your love and prayers. And my son, Isaac. Yeah. Yo. 
first members of the covenant of grace Our first parents believed in God's promises by faith They confessed and believed in the seed that Eve would conceive Were united in Christ and saved immediately In this primitive age, you can see it displayed The preservation of true religion of worship and praise Contrasted with the idolatry and decay of the seed of the serpent Who are destined to pass away, yo The line of Seth called upon the name of the Lord The line of Cain to pride in their name would slay with the sword And since their wickedness would continue to escalate God determined to flood the earth and slay the reprobate But man was determined in his heart he was yearning To rebel against the hand of the Lord his power preserved them So even after the flood we see the dispersion and enmity Between the seeds of the woman and serpent Now leading up to the dispersion Man constructs a tower for idolatrous worship The city of man can never stand to compete Against Jehovah the Lord it puts nations under his feet He held them in derision, affected, scattered And the one who sits in the heavens would judge these blasphemous children The kingdom of God is everlasting So build in the city of man certainly most repugnant to wisdom Rewind to Genesis 9 when Noah would prophesy Concerning his children who would continue to multiply The tents of Shem would expand to include the Japhethites The Gentiles would be grafted into the Israelites The nations the Lord once scattered in judgment He would gather again in a son of Shem by a covenant From one man through his offspring he would bless the nations Behold, Abraham's offspring are salvation, yeah! Christ has made our abode in the tents of Shem By faith in the promise we can rest in him By his open covenant through his blood The Lord communes with his people in his steadfast love Christ has made our abode in the tents of Shem By faith in the promise we can rest in him Yeah, By his oath and covenant through his blood Yo. The Lord communes with his people in his steadfast love From among the pagans God would call Abram to leave his family and land God would make him a nation Though the peoples were judged by dissemination Through a descendant of Shem God would gather and bless the nations God allotted a land, he gave it to Abraham This territory would expand to the earth and its span It's here we see God's growth to redeem a people from every single nation for his possession This is an early depiction of great commission Abraham admonished, instructed, and commanded his children To keep the way of the Lord So that the promised fulfillment might reach the ends of the earth To advance the heavenly kingdom The protological great commission assumes a key text Covenant signs are applied to the children with respect To the covenant promises of the gospel So Jesus, he teaches to baptize your children and teach his precepts What were the purposes of these covenant promises? Nothing short of redemption, fellowship with the God who lives, confirmed of God and in Christ beforehand, and administered through the gospel preached to Abraham. This promise surpassed everything that preceded it. Revelation is heightened and developed in this period. The promise can't be an order by later covenant superseded. It's grounded in Christ because Father Abraham's blessed seed and offspring made an eternal offering by his blood we are all clean And by faith in the same Christ we are made to be children of Abraham by adoption we're now his offspring Jehovah will dwell in a realm with his holy people He is their great reward and will shield him from every evil What he determines he does accomplish by his decree Be assured by his word he will save his people eternally Christ is made Woo! our abode in the tents of Shem By faith in the promise we can rest in him by his oath and covenant through his blood, the Lord communes with his people in his steadfast love. Christ is me. Come on, Westminster! By faith in the promise, we can rest yeah. in him. By his oath and covenant through his blood, the Yo. Lord communes with his people in Listen. his steadfast love. This arrangement with Abraham was a covenant of grace, not merely a promise just floating around in space. Tethered to eternal counsels and grounded in Christ, this covenant contained the gospel and offered eternal life. Galatians 3.16, see where Paul writes, the promises were made to the offering who is Christ. Guaranteed in him and as such you will find an administration of grace in Abrahamic times. If in time redeemed they were justified and made clean, this was through a covenant and by the offspring and seed. By way of covenant God is always expressed. He is the reward of his people in blessedness. So we see with Abram, God the word appears as he's claiming I am your shield, your reward, and I will make you a nation He covenants and provides a sign, he will save him He, he passes, passes through carcasses, carcasses signifying he'll die to save men Or you could see with Isaac, laid upon the wood as a sacrifice He typified the priceless death of Christ, kid Combined with the sign of the ram in the thicket Isaac beheld the grace of Christ to die for the wicked Redemptive and reciprocal implications betwixt the Abrahamic covenant and the new covenant to exist the first is foundational like a pattern or framework The last one builds upon it, it's final form of the Lord's work In Hebrews 6 verse 17 we read Concerning the oath that Jehovah guaranteed To the heirs of the promise to Abraham and his seed Verse 18, this promise was also for you and me 
She's the son of Adam, son of Shem, and Abraham, the offspring and seed, the son of God and son of man. Fulfilled his covenant, he acquired the promises, makes his children of Abraham, and forgives our love all his miss. Christ has made our abode in, in the tents of Shem. By faith in the promise, we can rest in him. By his oath and covenant, through his blood, the Lord communes with his people in his steadfast love. Christ has made our, our abode in the tents of Shem. By faith in the promise, we can rest in him. By his oath and covenant, through his blood, the Lord communes with his people in his steadfast love. Listen. If you participate in the substance of the covenant of grace, by faith in Jesus Christ alone, you are held, you are cared for, you are pitied, you are protected, you are united to your Savior, Jesus Christ. Eternally, end of discussion, prodigal children, those who have wandered from the Father, we have a great, compassionate shepherd who has provided for you by his blood a seat at his table. Come, feast with us. If you have wandered, come feast with us. Covenant children, honor your father and mother. Look to their godly example. The promise is for you. If you have never experienced Christianity, if you have never heard the gospel, there are so many people here who will share the love of Christ with you and the gospel that Jesus Christ lived for us perfectly, suffered the wrath of God for our sins, was raised from the dead, is seated at the, at the right hand of God the Father, is coming again. Believe in him. When he comes again, he will take you to himself. You will not endure the judgment if you are united to him in the judgment that he endured. Thank you, everybody. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord for that. Our next brother, I love the fact that he works full-time for the Philadelphia Fire Department. So you know this brother is about to bring some heat. <laughs> All right, let's hear it for Zay the Black Smith. <laughs> Woo, what's going on, people of God? It's so good to be here. What up, what up, what up, brother, whoever that was? Yes, my man. What's happening, y'all? Listen, it's such a pleasure, such an honor to be here with y'all. I'm so excited. Y'all about to see. Um, but hey, listen. So I want to take this opportunity that I'm amongst God people to, yo, can we worship tonight? I just want to worship with y'all. Like, like, I'm going to ask y'all to join me. And I'm going to ask y'all for some stuff. Don't worry about it. When the time gets there, you know, I, 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 hopefully I'll lead you well with that. But let's worship, all right? Now, to start off, I just want to do this one little piece. It's just one verse. I don't know if it's short or not. But because, but, you know, rappers be like, it's just it's short. But, bro, that's a whole jam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because we excited. We, we want to talk about the Lord. So listen. But this drum right here, I love it. This is not on any of my albums or nothing, but I love that it just kind of fixes your eyes on Jesus. You know what I'm saying? And I just want to do that with y'all tonight if we can. Yeah? All right. Let's get it, Joe. Yeah. It's called Christ Is. Let's think about who Christ is for a second. He took the ultimate plunge from living as one Father, Spirit, and Son To live in the slums and dwelling amongst his venomous sons But where he was from, he was royal amongst royalty Hung up the stars and sun, he's the lord of the world's ordering And even though he's a great position, he's still submissive The Father sends him and off he enters into his mission That's Christ walking in Hooper Tasso, don't get it twisted Just like a soldier enlisted, plays his position Listen, he condescended and entered into this world In a set of conditions that would just probably make you Earl. He did it all to serve us, though we have not deserved him. He walked the earth and served his brethren that would all deserve him. As someone plot to hurt him, he kept.
carry an awesome burden To quench the flames of hell's fire so his flock ain't burning What an anomaly that in our God's economy Humiliation and exaltation ain't such a dichotomy So it should not confuse you when Jesus said that the greatest isn't one that's sitting at the table But who served the plate of Cause at the heart of the issue he's trying to get you to live your life in his likeness In other words, sacrificial Jesus got low to come to earth and got the boot But now we're sending at the right hand of the Father We salute And if you think this was a twist of the plot Then how it sounds We get low to get a crown And get a crown to lay it down At his feet Word Praise Jesus So Yeah So worship with me baby Worship with me We got the letters up Okay cool Alright So This next jam is called Ecclesia It's Greek for Oh, thank you. Damn. It's Greek for the church word. Uh, the collected ones, God's people, us, right? Um, uh, and so, I'm going to need y'all help with this. My PowerPoint uh, guru. Let's switch it over to the next, John, because we're about to get a little, ooh, there's colors and all that stuff. Okay, so check it out. This is what we're going to do. This has worked before. Trust me. I did. It's worked before, so I know y'all can pull this off. We're going to do like this, right? So somewhere right here is the middle of the room, right? For those of y'all who look like, yeah, bro, but am I on this side or that side? Just pick a side. It's all good, baby, right? <laughs> just pick a side. All right, cool. So, right? I'm going to just say right. My right and my left, right? Okay. So, we're the church, the little white letters, they're supposed to be white. The color's funky. That's me, right? So I'm going to be like, we the church. And so y'all, the yellow, we the church. God's people on earth. We spread the gospel of grace and proclaim of his word. So we're the church. We're the church. God's people on earth. We spread the gospel of grace and proclaim of his word. All right, let's try it one more time like this. We the church. We're the church. God's people on earth. We spread the gospel of grace. <laughs> All right, let's get it. Let's get it. Now. Woo. Okay. Check it. Here we go. We're the church. We spread the gospel of grace and proclaim. We're the church. We spread the gospel of grace. We're the church. We spread the gospel of grace. We was bought with a price, the body of Christ Resurrected, being perfected, our new way of life We're living stone in us, he makes his home We're God's temple, so we're honored to be one with the Father Son, though we're sinful We've been set apart, we're the work of all We're called the holy priest of y'all, that's the word of God huh? And that's all for all of us who believe in The cornerstone is I, and the cross bleeding And whom we stand unshakable is receding If you turn the page to Isaiah 28, 16 a chosen race, a people for his possession Predestined before the foundations of earth He elected, those for whom he sent his son to die for He rise though, and that's the means to which we've been redeemed So now we're live folk And if we're his children and we regard him as father Then it stands the reason it's his household We become a part of We've been adopted, cop with the blood of Christ, read it from the prophets, how God feels about his bride, with right there in Isaiah 62, 5, so it is my prayer to convey that you and I are more than just some people with something in common, with God's people, y'all, we're uncommon, we're more than just some people with something in common, with God's people, y'all, we're the church, we spread the gospel of grace, we're the church. We spread the gospel of grace. We're the church. We spread the gospel of grace. We're the people on earth. We spread the gospel of grace. Brothers and sisters, I insist we trek through the scriptures Let's get a picture from the text how we should look as Christians God speaks much about us and how we should love us Acknowledge and he's our father, we call us sisters and brothers John 13, 34, Christ commands it So let's love each other, y'all, his word is the standard Romans 12, 10, pursue to outdo one another And giving up honor to whom you view as your brother Build one another up, Romans 14, 19 In a more intentional context, we call it discipling In the life of Jesus, teaching is the Disciples even peep it in the early church leaders in the Bible. Galatians 5:13. Love through serving, man. That's more than I can fit in these bars. It deserves a sermon, but it don't start with your desires or comfortabilities. And no dog is not inspired by your abilities. It's 
starts with the needs that you see in your community So roll up them sleeves when you see an opportunity To bear with one another's burdens is part of the mission Which means we gotta actually care enough to listen If this doesn't convince you, hit Galatians 6 2 And let the text give you the facts regarding this issue If this doesn't convince you, hit Galatians 6 2 And let the text give you the facts Now, we're the church We spread the gospel of grace We're the church we spread the gospel of grace. Yeah, we're the church. We spread the gospel of grace. We're the church. We spread the gospel of grace. Woo, y'all, I'm glad I came out for this show. Y'all doing great. I feel like I'm out there watching y'all like, like y'all rapping, man. Everybody can rap, really. They say that, right? I know I can't sing. You need some God-given stuff that I ain't get from them. I can sing, just not good. Yo, so, was that a little bit worshipful? Huh? Yeah, we the church, y'all. Huh? Listen, yo, we're uncommon. You know what I mean? We ain't just regular old folk. We was bought at a price. The body of Christ resurrected. I'm about to spit the whole thing acapella again, yo. So. Let's just keep it moving. <laughs> All right, check it. Let me see the next slide. What we got? Yeah. So let me share this with y'all. This is a, a single off of my uh, fourth, forthcoming album. That's what that means, that it's coming up, right, Joe? Yes, my forthcoming album. Uh, I got this joint and one more that I'm going to do from that same album. I've been working on it all year and uh, can't wait to share it with y'all. But for now, I got these two joints, right? So let's just get into it. It's self-explanatory. It's rap music, you know what I mean? Yeah. Hold up, one second. One second, one second. I didn't even, I ain't even show no love handles and no nothing with that. I was worried, like, how you gonna pull that off? All right. <laughs> Think about that stuff. We on stage. All right, let's get it, baby. Woo! I wish I could turn this up so loud for me. Oh. Give him the bean bamboo. Bean yeah. bamboo. What you know about the bean bamboo, baby? Just give yeah. me, give me fire beats. Hard walks, charge with Messiah speech. You want something like what some men of God had a mind to preach. Just bring the heat with purposes system and reverence, folks. Please pardon me, you see I'm old and irrelevant. But I relate to particular styles and taste in particular stuff from days records spun in the living crazy. If you was rap, it was rock. If you want the rap, the jump in the cypher, you must have be nice and call it a rap. And that's that. Nowadays, I judge with different criteria. Still checking for a spit as flames, but I'm trying to get near a drop. I feel that art for art's sake is worthless. What God made and made with a certain purpose yeah. And the rap can be music with words And words for worship Then it's good that we get good and strong effort in God is worth So we must go right and make the band rap And the flow with current That's classic containing It's everlasting and dope with yeah. yeah You know what I mean? So check it Yo If you're riding with the message And method with which I'm sending yeah. in This one's for you, my dude Cause this is written for my niggas My girl brothers that love the law But they like it raw From the word of God Spitting God just from my mind is full since I've been gone, it's been pacing and patient Like what is taking so dang long? It's just probably too complex even for me to get in short I lack a character and faithfulness to keep it free If you've been in the loop and you know this is true Then you should know how straight I shoot And I don't try to make excuses But life is swinging through so I'm trying out to lose How could you understand my Did you just stop in my boots? It's nothing But I could never put the mic down Like any heavyweight in times it's prime when it was like Cause that's why we do it, right? I love this though. I love it when the beat is hot. Riding through the streets and let your sneakers start. Rapping for the glory of Jesus, that's what my people want. Just spit the fire that gives me godly desires to take up the safe and ride and inspire and think it's out. The type of stuff that'll check you and straight challenge you. Biblical thoughts were forced to correct and affect your character. The type of records that get you to start reflecting the implications of being a wretch with God is majestic. The kind of songs that are written to soldier saints by marveling in the gospel with proper response to grace. Wait, wait, how about a jam that's rapping the great I am and stepping the spirit injected with the to save a man? How about it when your music's bumping at your 
the show We can stir up with affection and sing worship to the Lord I'm no scholar for ministry methods or ways we should MC But I wanna get God with my music But if it's just me I don't know Yeah Yeah Word So That was that A whole lot to say about uh, Christian rap and whatnot. Joe, I just drank your water, my dude. Nah, nah, this is fresh. It's cracked open, but that's just, so when I come out here, it's easier. Yo. <laughs> um, but that's my brother, so this is all good. Right? Okay. <laughs> Yo. So this song right here that I got coming up next, um, it's called Tactics. It's about family worship. Uh, there is a man by the name of Donald Whitley who wrote a book called uh -huh, uh, Family Worship. It's a little tiny book, uh, but it was real helpful. Um, and um, I read that book because I have a young family. Shout out to Zayla, Zayla Bear. What's up, boo boo? Love you, girl. But I'm trying to raise this little girl here and trying to be a husband. And I, um, I've struggled with doing family devotions. That's just been the reality for me, right? Um, so pray for me if y'all ever think about that. But I wrote this song trying to encourage myself to those ends and just praying and hoping that the Lord will also use it to encourage anyone else that could benefit from it, right? So... That's what this is about. Tactics. Three syllables is all you have to remember. Read, pray, sing. Read the Bible, pray together, and sing together. Let's get it, let's get the worship. Let's put the motion in motion, work with a purpose. The scriptures and prayer, how we're striking and grafting. Let's get with the squad and train in heavenly tactics. Creed, pray, let's get it, let's get the worship. Let's put the motion in motion, work with a purpose. The scriptures and prayer, how we're striking and grafting. Let's get with the squad and train in heavenly tactics. Early to rise, rise early, turning my eyes to the words of the wise king. How unworthy am I? Just a thought for the heart to start. Embarking on meditation so all of my inner thoughts get parked and I'm read to praise him. Crack open my book with his holy scriptures I'm hoping to get a dosage I'm broken and need a fix And his words don't More potent than your potions and elixirs Without you hosting the dose No hope that you get the book Lord, fill me with your spirit And give me divine enlightenment Like how you give me lyric To spill them out of my writing pen Cause you can light the men Like you flipping the switch Illuminate them within That's the meaning of getting lit me take up your word and observe happily And let me master your word as I let your word master me now I'm on the chapter and the verse where I'ma start I'm reading with the eyes but help me listen with the heart My God, pray, let's get it, let's get the worship Let's put the motion in motion, work with a purpose The scriptures and prayer, I was striking and grappling Get with the squad and train in heavenly tactics Me, pray, let's get it, let's get the worship Let's put the motion in motion, work with a purpose the scriptures and prayer is how we're striking and grappling Let's get with the squad and train in heavenly tactics Okay. Let's clear the mind of the thoughts that are called distractions And make assertive moves that improve on this course of action Let's get the business, whether I meet resistance or not We are not gonna stop lighting this incense Take all my prayers and concerns and worldly afflictions Along with all this gratitude and a few benedictions Lord, you come down to us by your spirit So let me come up to you by this prayer you're hearing You're holy, I'm a sinner, but nothing to be afraid of Cause not only are you king, but interceding mediator You plead on my behalf as I approach closed in righteousness Covered in your cloak I know the Father will delight in it The scripture put me on to this little secret I learned That the spirit and deceit would grow the steeper than worlds Help me to grow the Lord at the prayer just like I ought to do Cause I don't wanna talk about you more than I talk to you Let's get it, let's get the worship Let's put the motion in motion, work with a purpose Scriptures and prayer is how we're striking and grabbing Get with the squad and train in heavenly tactics We pray, let's get it, let's get the worship Let's put the motion in motion, work with a purpose Scriptures and prayer is how we're striking and grabbing So let's get with the squad and train in heavenly tactics Okay, front and center, they know that we got to get up Whether it's time for breakfast, lunch, brunch, or dinner Let's gather the troops and slather the plates with truth That 
I'd rather rap of his grace with the family than the booth Plant seeds in my little youth for the roots to grow stronger I'm still a blacksmith but I practice a little farming uh, I'm trying to sow some seeds that'll grow the trees whose fruit is sweet And plant it close to the Lord's creed So let's break bread at the table and serve these dishes I'll take the first turn of observers return in scripture Thanks be to God for the word that we just heard I pray in you we delight in your light and our hearts burn now as a family we sing to each his own In my home we zone in the worship hymns So choose the day who you worship as you're moving forward But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord We pray, let's get it, let's get the worship Let's put devotion in motion, work with a purpose The scriptures and prayer is how we're striking and grappling Get with the squad and train in heavenly tactics We pray, let's get it, let's get the worship Let's put devotion in motion, work with a purpose The scriptures and prayer is how we're striking and grappling Get with the squad and train in heavenly tactics yeah, yeah. Word. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. Word, word. Woo. I'm glad y'all enjoyed that. I enjoyed spitting it, but maybe I was going too hard rehearsing for this because, like, my voice is like, dude, come on, bro. That's, that's it. Okay. But the Lord got my back. It's all good. Y'all saints. Y'all, y'all, y'all to work with me. So check it. Let's see what we got up next. Triplex. So, this is a worshipful joint. I'm going to need y'all help on the hook. Y'all did great the first time, so I know y'all could kill it. Uh, yeah, check it. Very easy, right? All y'all got to do is say, Jesus, prophet, priest, and king, right? So it's going to go like this. I'm going to say, all the saints in the place, lift your voice and sing. Jesus, prophet, priest, and king. Come on, saints in the place, lift your voice and sing. Word, and that's what we're going to look at. We're going to look at our Christ in the threefold offices of prophet, priest, and king, right? So let's do this. Yeah. All my saints in the place, lift your voice and sing. Come on, saints in the place, lift your voice and sing. Uh huh, saints in the place, lift your voice and sing. Thus said the Lord, proclaiming it forth with his vocal cords. This was the way the prophets of old spoke for the Lord. This was the method preferred to convey his views. When his people acted reckless, he stepped in with heinous foods. About the judgment, he bring a view of the sin. But though they come back to him, he knew they'd do it again. In chapter 15, verse 18 of Deuteronomy, you read about the one that come the prophet to model it. This is the one that is known as Christ the Messiah who spoke not of his own so you know that he's no liar Flip through the scripts, his message is so divine Chapter 12 in the Gospel of John, verse 49 He did more than carpentry for a job He held the office of a prophet of God And his work now preserved in his church isn't stopping So let's spread the word to Jesus, the prophet Do my saints lift your voice and sing Come on, saints in the place, lift your voice and sing. Okay, my saints in the place, lift your voice and sing. Shaking and trembling with fear, they would enter the most holy place once a year to represent the system. Never was a priest that wasn't in need of atonement, but Jesus never needed interceding for his own sin. So, in this regard, the work that he performed was perfect. And the other priest's work has served an eternal purpose. The flawless execution of his job description was running crucifixion, a perfect offering for sin once for all, was a one time deal, but he's still working hard yo, he's interceding on behalf of the saints, the accused is trying to condemn us and blemish us, but he can't, yeah we have an advocate actively mediating still after the fact, he didn't just happen to bleed and save us, his work is accurate, back with divine feats, he's just so vernacular, Jesus the high priest, saints in the place, lift your voice and sing, come on Okay, my saints in the place, lift your voice and sing. Yeah, come on, saints in the place, lift your voice and sing. Vocal wisdom of Solomon to the mighty King David. There's never been one among them whose name will reign greater than King Jesus, the King of the Jews, as he was accused. The kingdom beat up and bruised up on the cruise. Yet his reign is infinite, never knowing the limit. The divine expression of omnipotent with no gimmicks. He rules over all creation forever. It's never been the King who reigns better than the defender of his people. None has ever been as equal as a conquering lion devouring. 
when he defeats foes He offers protection and blessings in his sleep I try and test us, he steps in and he wins one He captures hearts too, oozes and subdues us Stamps just like tattoos, our acts prove he rules us We keep us long, motivated by his love A prophet, peace and king, straining from above Saints in the place, lift your voice and sing Come on, my saints in the place, lift your voice and sing Lift your voice and sing One more time, my saints in the place Lift your voice and sing Heard I Yeah Woo Y'all killed it again <laughs> Y'all my favorite rappers, for real That's it, that's my set, I love y'all Peace House, lift your voice and sing. Jesus, All the saints in the house, lift your voice and sing. Jesus, That's just tight, y'all. <laughs> I was told to make one more announcement. If y'all are eager to maintain the spirit of unity and the bond of peace, can y'all scoot over? <laughs> we, we still have some empty spaces, and if y'all want to sit down, y'all can. That's my last offer. Come on in the room, y'all. <laughs> All right, our next, our next guest is gonna be a sister. She's a first year student at Westminster, and she will be breaking down some spoken word. Her name, Emma Emanuel. She will be, she will be speaking about her testimony. So let's hear it for Emma Emanuel. Efficiency. Sure that my future was a goal that I could see. With dreams that made me believe in freedom. So I could build a kingdom on church words and leave church hurts out of my mental Google search words. Man, was I wrong and strong. I was playing mahjong with my thoughts and memories. I was dealing with death in alternating songs and melodies of jealousies and envies I thought were long forgotten. I was wishing for a life to live where I wasn't brought in against my will, with a core that wasn't so rotten because I killed my goodness and goodwill towards men. I sought self-sufficiency. Sure that my future was a goal that I could see. With dreams that I made to make me be me. All right, it might be a bit confusing, so I'll give you the rest of my testimony. You see, I hopped continents to come to new life. Knowing my answered prayers meant new life in Christ. And as soon as I was saved by that continental leap, I was saved by grace through faith with a monumental sweep of my sins, separated from me as far as the east is from the west. I was decorated in white robes, saturated in best hopes of what was yet to come. I did not see death coming, however. 
I didn't see death coming. And this heartbeat inside my chest was drumming and a rhythmic second best. So I did my level best to stay abreast and did a beta test of this bulletproof vest I invested in called apathy. It quite suited me and so naturally, steeped in my pain, I started praying. I couldn't sing a song, so I started playing. My voice got caught, so I taught myself how to talk through song. Taught myself how to walk along this path laid before me. But it wasn't long before I strayed. I followed my own conscience. I built my mind with a science that left me unconscious. My mindset was death and truancy, my subconscious. Ferocity, my character and my personality, mm, anxiously obnoxious. I spiraled downwards into addictions with predictions of doom. I strayed far from the gospel and I made new age my bedroom. Fear became my new faith and death my heirloom. I became a tomb. You know, but God came through and he snatched me out of that snare and he prepared me to enter into a role of which I was never unaware. My Yahweh saved me and without another care, I gave up all that I accrued and within me, God stirred up and brewed a true story that I never dared to share lest I bear my all to a room full of blank stares. Yet, my God, he gave me strength and boldness in faith, and I would have to no more abate my hope or wait for another to unrope me from my bonds or unshackle me from my chains. I was no more on a spiritual stipend because God turned up and upended that spiritual mind bend. He made sure I was spiritually ripened, mature, detached, without any worldly hyphens. I would liken this freedom to a language intensive. Expensive in time, but fully comprehensive. Gained not by my efforts, that would be truly offensive, but refined by God alone with his promises etched in stone. His word did not return to him void for it bore fruit and it was food to my dry bones. You see, he taught me to fight in the life that was the light of men. Not with physical blows or grand shows of matrix-like abilities and gory affinities, but wearing that spiritual armor, entering war as a farmer during harvest. Reaping what God had me sow during my rest. He taught me patience in my trials and my tribulations. He taught me perseverance, all in full assurance of his word provided. No lip service. And so now, I run with certainty and I fight with a purpose. Disciplining and subjecting my body to qualify beyond the surface. No fur coats, no 18th holes, no big boats, that's only for my epidermis. Self-service shall not be the reason for my hope deferred. My sick heart is a diagnosis referred to the physician preferred. Lord Jesus is the reason I run towards the prize conferred to those who are in Christ and to eternity transferred. The prize, an imperishable crown, as stated word for word. And because he suffered for our sins, we get to wear our crowns as sons and daughters of the Most High King. And because he suffered for my sins, I wear my crown as a daughter of the Most High King. Amen. Amen.
said, all right, would you stand with us? We're going to sing a song called Sanctus Sanctus. The words will be on the screen. There is a, a female and a male part, so if y'all can read, which I know y'all can, would y'all sing those parts for us? Thank you.
You having a good time? What a great joy it is and privilege it is to be here with these artists, these brothers and sisters, and then as a group to sing that song where the Lord has cleansed our lips so that we can sing back to Him and proclaim His praises. Amen? Amen. I have the privilege now of reading you a story from Jesus, so could I invite you to listen as I read to you the words of Jesus? And he said, there was a man who had two sons, and the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the share of the property that is coming to me, and he divided his property between them. Not many days later, the younger son gathered all he had and took a journey into a far country, and there he squandered his property with reckless living. And when he'd spent everything, a severe famine arose in that country, and he began to be in need. So he went and hired himself out to one of the citizens of that country who sent him into his field to feed pigs. And he was longing to be fed with the pods that the pigs ate, and no one would give him anything. But when he came to himself, he said, How many of my father's hired servants have more than enough bread, but I perish here with hunger? I will arise and go to my father, and I will say to him, Father... I have sinned against heaven and before you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Treat me as one of your hired servants. And he arose and came to his father. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and felt compassion and ran and embraced him and kissed him. And the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Bring quickly the best robe and put it on him, and put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet, and bring the fattened calf and kill it, and let us eat and celebrate. For this my son was dead and is alive. He was lost and is found. And they began to celebrate. Now his older son was in the field, and as he came and drew near to the house, he heard music and dancing, and he called one of the servants and asked what these things meant. And he said to him, Your brother has come. And your father's killed the fattened calf because he has received him back safe and sound. But he was angry and he refused to go in. His father came out and entreated him. But he answered his father, look, these many years I have served you and I never disobeyed your command. Yet you never gave me a young goat that I might celebrate with my friends. But when this son of yours came who has devoured your property with prostitutes, you killed the fattened calf for him. And he said to him, Son, you're always with me, and all that is mine is yours. It was fitting to celebrate and be glad, for this your brother was dead, is alive. He was lost and is found. That's the story of Jesus. Here's another story that I once heard from a very religious man. One evening, he addressed a group that I was in, and he said this, when my girls were teenagers, I sat them down and I told them, if you ever get pregnant, don't bother coming home. Your possessions will be out on the lawn with a $1,000 check attached to them, and you can leave from there. And then the man pressed this on the group as though this was supposed to be an example of parenting that was pleasing to God. Nothing could be more unlike the father that Jesus reveals to us in this story. Jesus' story has three characters, the father and his two lost sons. The main character Jesus wants us to get to know is the father. We get to know him by seeing him relate to his two sons, his rebellious son and his self-righteous son. There was a man who had two sons, and the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the property that is coming to me. Now, here's what you need to know. In that community, the oldest son got the largest share of the property, and the other sons got what was left over after that. The scandal in the story starts when the younger son demands his share of the property now. This is like him saying to his father, I wish you were dead. And then his shameful dishonor descends into sinful behavior. All that the father had worked a lifetime to give to him, he sold in a heartbeat. He had to liquidate the land so that he could go to Vegas. 
A far out country puts them outside of Israel, an unclean land amongst Gentile territory where Jesus says he squandered all that hard-earned family money on reckless living. Can you see him? Doling out wads of cash for every substance he can get and every sensation he can put in front of his eyes. He's demeaned and he's dishonored his father. He's shamed his entire family. And for his own self-centered satisfaction, he's partied. He's prostituted away his share of what his father worked a lifetime to give him. Now, here's part of our problem with this parable. We know how it ends. We know how the father relates to the son. And so we immediately have sympathy for what we call the prodigal. But if you'd been in their world, you would have known that this is a really bad dude. He has done really bad things, and you'd probably be listening to the story saying, this guy gets everything he deserves. And what he gets is bondage and desperation. His binges leave him with zero when starvation comes. And so he joins himself, he enslaves himself to a Gentile to survive. And in his enslavement, he's in service to unclean animals. And he's dishing out slop that he can't even eat because they won't even give him a portion of that. So get the picture. The son is distant. He's disobedient. He's dirty. He's destitute. He's debased. He has spiraled from a generous father to a trough of an unclean master who won't even give him unclean food for unclean animals. And he's not there because of uncontrollable circumstances that victimized him. He chose this. This is a bad seed and he's in bad shape. But, verse 17, with Jesus, there's always a hope-giving pivot. But, the rebellious son started to wrestle with his own heart. He sees how absurd, how insane his rebellion to his father is. My father's servants are amply provided for, and I'm perishing. Now, this will show you how different is the father that Jesus wants to show to us. The son rehearses his speech. I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like a slave. But, verse 20, but while he's still a long way off, Before he can get to his father, his father saw him and his father's heart leaps with with pity at the condition of his boy and the father violates all respectable custom. He picks up his robes, he runs off the porch, he runs up to his boy, he puts his arms around him and he kisses his unclean skin. And then when the son finally gets around to rehearsing his speech about earning his way, the father completely overlooks it. But, Jesus says again, the father calls to his servants, bring the symbols of sonship, bring the symbols of favored status, get the best robe, get my seal, put it on his finger, give him shoes for his feet, and let's do when we, what we do when we have a festival. Kill the fattened calf, let's celebrate. My son is found, my dead son's alive. See, here's what Jesus is doing. He's disclosing the love that God the Father shows to sinners when, and that he expresses when they come home. The Father does not shamefully, reluctantly let sinners in the back door so they can earn their way into his favor. He rejoices over them in his love. He lavishes his assurance of standing as beloved sons on them. And the Father reveals to us what he reveals to us far exceeds anything in our fallen experience and falling expectations. He lavishes his love on sinners that Jesus brings home. And then there's the brother. The self-righteous son. There's exuberant celebration. There's enthusiastic rejoicing over a lost, dead sinner coming home. So, of course, the older brother responds with anger, resentment. He refuses to go in. The lavish love of the father is on display, and the older son is miserable. Jesus doesn't leave us to figure out why. Here's why he's miserable. Look, these many years I've slaved for you. 
And I've never disobeyed one of your commands, yet you never gave me a young goat that I might celebrate with my friends. I've been slaving for you for years, and you haven't even recognized me. See, here's his problem. He trusts his own performance. He believes his obedience should gain him the Father's approval. So he's trusted his dutifulness to merit the Father's riches. Now, can I give you some good news that most of us aren't expecting? The father didn't give up on the self-righteous son. He's a lost son also. The father didn't say, leave him out there in his own self-righteous ignorance. He should have known better. No, the father leaves the party and goes to his child, and he appeals to him. Son, you're not a slave. All that is mine is yours. All that I have earned to give to you, not what you have earned to give to me. See, here's the point. God is so patient, he is so kind, that he is unrelenting in his passionate pursuit of his chosen children, whether they be rebellious or self-righteous children. John Owen, a great pastor and theological thinker of a previous time, said this. Listen carefully. Men are afraid to have good thoughts of God. They think it a boldness to see God as gracious, tender, kind, loving. I speak of saints. They can judge Him hard, austere, severe, almost implacable and fierce, and think in this they do well. Is not this soul deceit from Satan? (coughs) Jesus' famous story can deliver us from soul deceit about God because, friends, it's not just a story. Behind the story is a life-changing reality, a reality that is actually found in the one who told the story. Jesus, the Son of God, was sent into the world by the Father to seek and save sinners. Jesus, God's righteous Son, not only told the story, He came from heaven to seek us in a far-off land. Jesus is the eternal Son of God who never disobeyed, who was never distant from the Father, but who substituted himself on the cross to absorb the wrath of God for rebellious and self-righteous sinners. Jesus is the Son that God raised from the dead and vindicated before the universe as his righteous Son so that now in the face of Jesus Christ we see the love of God the Father. And if we will believe in Jesus, he gives us Jesus' robe of righteousness. He sets his seal on our heart by his Holy Spirit so that we might be assured of his love and rather than be slaves, we might cry out, Abba, Father. In Jesus, the famous and wonderful story points us toward the Father who does for sinners through Jesus what the story says the Father did for those sons. And if we will simply come to our senses and put down our rebellion and put down our self-righteousness In Jesus Christ, we will find that God the Father is much more full of grace than we are full of sin. Amen. Jesus made Muhammad. Then how can Muhammad be the greatest prophet? Jesus got him beat. He's God indeed. Plus, he's the greatest king, prophet, priest. But Muhammad's long deceased. Did he ever serve his followers and wash their feet? He didn't get the Quran from Gabriel. Gabe was busy praising the Savior who saves from hell. Christ is truth and not Islam. 
the self-attesting scripture's top Quran. Only the cross Christ was slaughtered on can atone for sin and not Ramadan. See the gospel's the most blessed message of precious Hesed. Cause sinners stand in Christ dress perfected. It's the collective weapon. 600 years before the Quran, Christ was already resurrected. Yeah. Make some noise for the resurrected Lord Jesus Christ. It's such a blessing to have you. I'm going to ask if you have an open seat next to you to please move in. We got about 50 people who are standing patiently out in the back. So please slide in. I'm going to invite everybody who's out there. Come on down. I'd like you guys to fill up this space because myself and Shailene are about to get a little rowdy up in here. And I got a couple friends to help me. So I need some folks who have boldness. Of course, of course, Brother Gabe is down. To, to come on down and worship the Lord down front, and that'll actually knock out two birds with one stone. You'll have a great time, and it'll allow others to have some space to get in. Yeah. Some folks have been out there the whole time. Zay the blacksmith. Ian Buchanan. How many people know that one of the main themes in the Bible is the kingdom of God? In fact, you could say Genesis to Revelation is all about the kingdom of God. Adam, who was called to be a king, failed so that sin, death, and Satan began reigning over him. So God promised a king who would rescue us from the reign of sin. And that king is the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's get in the kingdom of God. Let's do it. DJ Average Joe on the ones and twos. Brother Ryan, got it. Excellent. Run that back. The scriptures were who built upon God's kingdom It's his rule and reign and wise dominion from all times beginning Genesis 1, God the king rooms over all Verse 16, for rule the Hebrew word uses for sure yeah. Seek his kingdom order Heavenly light rule day and night But over birds, beasts, and the fish of water God makes man in his image And the distinction is that He hands him dominion and commands him his mission To rule over the land and animals mentioned By expansion, extension, advance in his kingdom Through his grandsons and kinsmen The tree of life stands for the reward of life God will grant him and give him See God the creator, king who made all things When Adam is vice king in the earth he gave to him In his image he made him in to reign like him Meaning to love Righteousness and hate all sin yeah. It's the other tree to distinguish good from evil And extinguish anything that looks deceitful uh -huh. Cause as Yahweh separated light from dark King Adam wants to discern and be wise in heart As God finished his work on day seven he rested Sat down on his Sabbath throne in heaven he rested Thus if Adam obeys and endorses the task yeah. Then he'll sit on his Sabbath throne of glory rest True. And creation will be transformed and blessed how now is he ruled by sin in the courts of death? You ah. should've put every one of the beasts under your feet Including the serpent who comes in deceit Come on. You should've bruised and cursed him and removed the serpent But you choose to serve him, now he rules as your king ah. And since you're forfeited to govern the kingdom A son of Adam, son of man, or we yeah. the dominion The kingdom of God has been breaking in Since the fall to abolish the reign of sin Entrance that Satan's sin is reigning Now we see there is two kingdoms God saving rule over his covenant people And Satan's slavish rule over those governed by evil That's right. Cause we see the word must all to rule again Genesis 4 became but now sin is ruling him True. See this crucial thing Chapter 
17 God promises to Abraham will come those who are kings yeah. So it's clear through Abraham's family tree God will bring about a saving reign for humanity That's right. From two passages we have to gaze About a son of Adam's reign that'll happen in, in the, the latter, latter days yeah. First Jacob says the scepter won't depart from Judah So the specific tribe set apart is ruler Then Balaam in Numbers 24 said The scepter from Israel will we'll crush, crush the enemy's man. forehead <laughs> We'll suffer them be glorified It's foreshadowed by Joseph Working mighty acts of judgment Patterned by the staff of Moses King the precious laws expressed in the Decalogue Blessings for if they're kept, let's do get his scepter on In the book of Deuteronomy in chapter 17 The Lord gives the standard for the man that he will bless his king Who keep us on his heart to raw he will guard He will be haughty like Saul, he'll be in awe of his guard Joshua was a ruler figure Leading a king and a priest carrying God's throne A dry ground through the river To drive out the brood of sinners From the land God promised them So Joshua was smart of it Idolaters he conquered them Cause these Gentile kingdoms are the embodiment of the demonic king Bringing the Ark of the Covenant And this is symbolizing that the kingdom of God is judging them Counterfeit kingdoms now have it ended Surrounded by the thousands of rowdy shelters against them This is judgment reserved for the end of time Yeah, it intrudes into history by his set design That we should discuss this Israel needs a wise human king That's the point of the book of Judges Cause without a king who's discerning good from evil To idols they turn as perverted crooked people So David's God's choice is king Anointed twice privately then publicly To his greater sum this points to him so mate, he sees himself as the second Adam With the majestic one, David's impressed when asking Who is man that you're mindful of him? Or the son of Adam that you assign as a king? Verse 6 in the English, which all is used He says you cause him to rule because he's given dominion That's the true to rule is him Only David can dispossess and remove Jebusites from Jerusalem It's the kingdom city If the kingdom does submit in David gives the pity of the spitting really quickly Though Solomon had a kingdom of peace He's subdued by the dominion of sin and the slippery beast He couldn't line up to his own kingly wisdom In Proverbs because sin's throne is within men Though Solomon's kingdom and fame extends He and his sons couldn't put an end to the reign of sin The exile, David's royal lines to throne But God's faithfulness will in time be shown With Yahweh's covenant love won't be severed He promised David's son must sit on his throne forever So made he now God will not lie to David send the lion of Judah to die in the grave yeah. The kingdom of God is heaven breaking in Since the fall to abolish the reign of sin To prevent creation to its greater end All oh, praise to the son of Adam, son of David King The kingdom of God is heaven breaking in Since the fall to abolish the reign of sin To prevent creation to its greater end All oh, praise to the son of Adam, son of David King The kingdom of God's old temple Which was promised of old and stressed by the prophets The end time kingdom would bring in the day of the Lord and his foes get slain with the sword yeah. And there's two ages This age and the age to come But the age to come has two phases And the first phase has begun Cause the heavenly order is the kingdom proclaimed by the sun The heaven of God is already breaking through To end the rule of death and Satan enslaving you Cause whether through jewelry or pearls Or the beauty of a girl Satan reigns as the ruler of this world So in the gospel of Mark the ministry of the Son of God has its start with this awesome remark The time is fulfilled, his kingdom's at hand Cause in the wilderness he overthrew the king over man and Thus the kingdom arrived, cause the king had arrived And its inauguration was evidenced by a sign Think it's only future, you're wrong dude Demons cast out by the spirit, proves his kingdom's come upon you Bringing heaven's assault to subject the revolt Of Satan that affected us all and rescued our souls It's satanic to throw me by ransom's atonement It's the strong man's bound by the stronger Man now. I have got a lot to say about the Basileia It's about the will of the Father and his awesome prayer But his kingdom far surpasses expectation To just rescue from Rome's oppressive nation More than restoration or reclamation Of what King Adam lost to sin, death and Satan But rather the last Adam advances this right creation Under its heavenly destination Through Ramona's brethren risen, Solomonic slenderism He received all honor from the Father Better sin to give it, resurrected to extend dominion Through his blessing Kinsman, poured his spirit out upon him, now he's spread his temple. Woo! The resurrection of 
resurrected Lord indeed And Matthew 28 says all authority is restored to me Jesus reigns now What you say how? As he could dread through his chuffering church in great trial His reigns express through the church The gates of hell won't prevail Cause the power of his resurrection exerts So we'll rest from our works and sit with him on his Sabbath glory throne when he brings heaven to earth. As Psalm 72 King will save the poor. Praise the Lord, David's son is really David's Lord. But who's ever heard of an old compassionate potentate who calls his royal children to cry out in his throne of grace? But to the Christian living in enslavement to porn, know that overuse sin doesn't reign anymore. It's through your union with Christ, you praise to the Lord. There's been a breach with sin that he changed at the core. Deep within your inner being, spirit of the king is seated. Jesus is your priest king who's continually interceding no longer slave to sin and through faith we're in transferred from satan reigns to his new creation kingdom but not yet in the full bliss of its wholeness come lord jesus bring your kingdom in its fullness we await the full bliss of its wholeness come lord jesus bring your kingdom in its fullness the kingdom of god is a saving rule through king jesus whose reign is true sin death and satan he'll strain subdue right now all things are being made his fool the kingdom of God is a saving rule Through King Jesus whose reign is true Sin, death, and Satan, he'll strength subdue Right now all things are being made as fool The kingdom of God is heaven breaking in Since the fall to abolish the reign of sin To advance creation to its greater end All praise to the son of Adam, son of David, King The kingdom of God is heaven breaking in Since the fall to abolish the reign of sin To advance creation to its greater end All praise to the son of Adam, son of David, King Yeah, hallelujah Praise him, yeah, 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 yeah Woo. Praise Jesus Praise the Lord. It's a blessing because I see brothers and sisters in Christ who I met when I got saved, 2001, 2002. But now I don't just see them, I see their children who are also coming up to know the Lord through Word. Christian hip hop. What a blessing. Praise the Lord. This next song is called The Wilderness. Because even though God's kingdom has already begun to reign through the Lord Jesus Christ, it has not yet come in its fullness. And until then, the church is in the wilderness. So I'm going to ask for my sister, Emma, who's going to yeah. bring the violin on this joint. Brother Brian Selby, who's going to come back and sing. Yeah, boy. And we're going to worship the Lord in the wilderness. So track with us through redemptive history with all these biblical characters who, in one way or another, have wandered in the wilderness. We're, we ready, Ryan? Yes, go for it. My ways were pagan, but I couldn't resist his summons call I came to Canaan many days across Rugged saw, but since he's the living God He's worth it just to suffer hard Some think I need my brain examined Cause I left my father's house for the land God gave me, but it's plagued with major famine Well, as I'm struggling, a soldier, a suffering I go down to Egypt, but the Lord will bring me up again He's telling me this eternal is my homeland But I'm dwelling in tents, sojourning in my own land Though I'm battered in the bruise I set the pattern for these Jews of sufferers Who trust your word, 11 chapters of Hebrews, see I'm the forefather of many suffering sons of God who prefer this to be in whoremongers. Though it's a dark calling, getting hard often, and bring us into glory because our faithful God's sovereign. Yo, love of my father and despised by my brethren, tossed in a pit and then sold by these henchmen. A slave in Egypt, but the Lord's who I'm trusting in. He's preserving the nations I trust to raise me up again. His wisdom sufficient, though I'm a slave in this prison. Betrayed by my kinsmen, but my grace I'll forgive them. Raised up like God to provide for all the nations To eat of this bread and be saved from starvation As for my brothers who sought after to kill me I'm forgiving their sin and invite them to come peace with me Into lawless hands that was handed over But now I'll reign over the land by the hand of Jehovah I trusted him who indeed was able to raise me Up from out of the pit and release me from slavery Trust and believe in the one who will certainly raise thee The promised seed who suffers as king in order to save thee It's been a rocket ride through this wilderness, 
image I've seen your people wildin' while you providing the illest gifts I've seen your work restoring, turning bitter water sweet When you gave us bread from heaven, it, it was more than we can eat, you know Trooping through the desert, it was never pleasant though I always had this feeling that you would've never let us go Cause you heard the cries from your children suffering in Egypt Though you're not obliged to it, signs and wonders you have freed us We suffered in the desert, tempted and dwelling in tents But in this wilderness, Yahweh's tent dwelt in our midst And now you brought me to this now, on which I'll have my last moment It's something that just to this, the promise, the end that I'm a holding and even though I never know what valleys or his peaks In this wilderness, I've grown to know my Lord And I have peace, so we don't deserve to be your people Thank you that you chose us with this last breath I plead that you receive your servant Moses I need you, Lord. Lord Jesus, I need you. Oh God, I seek you. Yeah, I seek you, Lord. Oh Lord, what many have wanted us straight, falling away. As long as the day is still recorded today, we'll call on your name, Yahweh, for all of your praise. We long for the day when you take away all of our pain. Lord, there's kings in the wilderness, I'm running from Saul with the rugged squad. But nevertheless, my heart hungers for God. Rescue me when I stumble and fall. I'm in love with your law. Honor Israel's king to govern them all. Have I been anointed to suffer, appointed to suffer? As a suffering wilderness king, I point to another. I write songs of the desert. Your light holds my depression Cause your house is better than life Oh God, you're my treasure Your praise I will mention Although there's pain and affliction Just like King Joseph I've been betrayed by my kinsmen But you'll vindicate me Cause your hand is gonna save I'll stand and be amazed Cause my life's not abandoned to the grave I'm tired and worn I've been despised and I'm scorned My own son has died He was caught in briars and thorns Preview of Messiah, of course This wilderness rock reminds me Of how I must hide in the Lord you me because you're speaking For God and how I'm feeling them I found refuge while I'm retreating off in the wilderness They sought to take my life with swords and knives I had to flee for 40 days and 40 nights Times I cried myself asleep But the Lord provided water from a brook in the heat Wouldn't have survived if I was deprived of bread and meat uh, To stay protected from the elements I have been provided with some garments made from animal hides I walked the wilderness in Mount Sinai I feel it so lonesome Consoled by thoughts of walking in the steps of Moses What will be Elijah the Tishbite What will be said about Elijah the Tishbite I weep for my people, the wandering sheepfold Their cravings and lusts are disgustingly evil They abandon their God in pursuit of their evil And must be punished through a foreign conquering evil Like Joseph, I too was tossed down a deep pit Was laid in a grave but was raised I keep preaching Repentance from sin cause judgment is now approaching Down from the north the king of Babylon's encroaching And yet I am swept out of Egypt Though I was innocent and observed all his precepts Counted as a lost covenant breaker and reject It's all for the sake of redeeming all of the elect Yeah, for other sins I'm in exile and suffering I'll die in Egypt, will the Lord bring me up again? For all your sins the branch of David was suffering Repent and believe he'll indeed raise you up again As the day is still recorded today We'll call on your name, Yahweh, for all of your praise We long for the day when you take away all of our pain I must have caught them off guard, some of them thought I was Elijah yeah. But now I'm still the giant, the one they call the baptizer Been surviving in the wild, guess they all think it's funny That I dress in camel's hair and live off locusts and honey But I ain't telling jokes, either repent or don't get smoked Leave the comfort of your homes into the desert for your hope Like the children of Israel set off into the desert Before the son of none would bring them to the land and the blessing that's to say that I'm like Moses Calling you out of Egypt And pointing to your Joshua Hoping that you receive him But my time is up Soon I'll be dead is what they said Tell them they'll never turn my heart Even if they take my head when I was just a kid, even then I was suffering We fled down to Egypt, when Herod died we went up again To reverse the sins of Israel, the nation I'm the true Israel son who obeyed in wilderness temptation Though the devil was tempting me with these filthy sins The Father's words, my living bread in this wilderness I'll take the multitudes out to the hills for this So I can feed them as the bread from heaven in the wilderness For my brothers, since I was on the cross suffering I go down to death, but the Father, he brought me up again Betrayed by my kinsmen, then raised up I'm living to my father's rest all the elects safely I'll bring them cause I'm bringing many sons to glory all those who suffer with me whether they were after or before with your trials I'm acquainted well I blaze the trail if you endure your rise forever we'll be glorified together the wilderness pride of Christ is this beautiful church
church yeah. United and blessed in him through his sufferings and works He travers the distance, he lavishes gifts us His gifts for this pilgrimage and he's promised to give us Rest at the end of our journey, we long the returning We groan with the rest of creation, this tent is a burden Death that will murder us, but the Lord is preserving us He'll raise our bodies and give us rest when it journeys up Lord, your blood spilt and you were killed for this Your communion bread is feeding us in this wilderness In our suffering, give us Christ to grumble in Let us Christ, let us run to him instead of other things Many took at the heat, so they took out the kitchen They left the faith, fled the saints, we thought they was Christian The OT saints laid the pattern for Jesus And through our union with Christ, we're being fashioned as he is Yeah Hallelujah Lord, we need you Lord, will many have wandered astray, fallen away? As long as the day is still regarded today, we'll call on your name, Yahweh, we'll holler your praise. We long for the day when you take away all of our pain. Amen. Amen. Thank you, brothers. Give it up for Emma, Emmanuel, Brian Selby. Give it up for the Westminster Choir. Give it up for Ryan Yoon on the sound back there. Well done. Yeah. Yo, give it up for DJ Average Joe on the ones and twos. And now, without further ado, before I ask you to give it up for the next brother, I just have to say, before you guys even heard of this next brother, in 2001, right after the Lord rescued me, from sin and brought me to himself. Before this brother was even known or put out songs, in his love for Christ, he took me under his wing and he walked me through the Bible. He showed me Christ in all of scripture. He taught me the book of Romans every week. And he showed me, Tim, we can actually use our hip hop to edify the people of God. And he's been a dear friend and brother and mentor and encouragement ever since. I want you guys to give it up for a brother who needs very little introduction. Give it up for Shy Lin. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yo, grace and peace, bro. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Where are you going? It's like, no. Praise the Lord. Uh. Y'all having a good time tonight? Yeah. Okay. So we're just going to continue with the, with the praise. And so this, this, is, this is a song that we did very early on in Lamp Mode's history. It was, it, for many people, it was their introduction to, to what we do. And Tim asked if, you know, thought it would be a good idea for us to bring it out tonight. So some of y'all may not be familiar with this, but it's just us glorifying the Lord through Christ-centered bars, which is really, that's all of our music, yeah. really. That's really what, that's what we do. So. We got any rugged boom bappers up in here? <laughs> See, we wrote this in 2003, and we're still rugged boom bap. I, yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. Used, I used to, I, uh, you still are. Yeah, it's yeah, it's okay. still in there yeah, somewhere. Okay. It's in there All somewhere. Right. Yeah. DJ Average Joe, let's do it. Let's go. Yeah. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord. Let's begin. Say, holy, holy, holy is the Lord. Consider the church, Jesus in the temple My church, I mean people The steeple's not essential The teaching is simple Adam and Eve made us sinful But when God broke the script Grace was eating from the pencil When we verbalize and free you like a bird in the skies They serving you lies We prefer to devise The word to the wise The bird with the eyes of your heart Stop and take a listen It's life or death You got to make a decision We sold us to operate the mission Not to propagate religion Not some fake tradition Got the great commission Christ crucified and risen That's the mandate We translate Most rap fans hate But God's people can't wait, grass through for lamp mode In Christ we trust, we looking for the 7,000 that's just like us And my crews and rowdy Gideons And apart from Christ, you ain't got our enemies like Jews and Palestinians Holy, holy, holy is the Lord Say holy, holy, holy is the Lord See, science and light have been the slyest men So high from gin and 
skins on Eyes would spin like tires rims And I even ate collider pins There's vitamins We despise a man, pay no mind to him But Messiah's the kindest friend who died for sin He saved us, changed up our lyrics And gave us his spirit who abides within See the gospel is free, it won't cost you a fee But that's cause the cost was a whole lot in the tree Sin's rage is death, but his love is deep so we paid the debt, his blood's the receipt Since the son of man's wrath is colossal We understand, keep our rugged neck packed with the gospel Now in spite of the hype of these crews We'd rather stay alone like the writer of Hebrews Holy, holy, holy is the Lord Holy, holy, holy is the Lord Holy, holy, holy is the Lord Somebody say worthy, worthy, worthy is the Lamb God's blessed grace You won't turn back like you rocked in that grace Let's face it, that's the best place for your estate Cause death waits with a set date You're in checkmate You can escape from your death state Unless you make Christ righteousness your breastplate The way he separates, reprobates from Alexei's You can spectate instead of being pressed great Without Christ, where would I be? Lord knows I might be dissing him in my songs Then taking them at award shows I might think it was my duty to spit flows at fellas dissing On BET Booties exposed television Industry rule 4081 It's the gospel music industry It's just a shady son So we'll do it grassroots While we tell of the Lord Cause we don't want to dwell in hell Clutching a stellar reward So we'll get stoned today if I don't condone your gay But I'm not supposed to say Christ is the, the only way If my tongue had no delay I'd do a hundred shows a day Just to say the sun didn't undergo decay We won't rep Christ as long as we write in our songs Cause what kind of king would sacrifice his life for the pawns If you like it at all Pass it along in all directions If not, holler back We'll see you at the resurrection Holy, holy, holy is the Lord Holy, holy, holy Say holy, holy, holy is the Lord Holy, holy, holy Say holy, holy, holy is the Lord. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord. Say worthy, worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy, worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Give it up for my brother Timothy Brendel. Such an edifying time. This first song is called The Greatest Story Ever Told. It's the story of the Bible in four minutes. Yeah. Any lovers of the Lord Jesus in here? What a blessing it is to be able to sing the praises of God as his redeemed people. Amen? Okay. <laughs> I check it. Let's go back in time, brethren. Divine lessons. Always keep your mind guessing. The glory of the triune gods where I'm stressing. The origin of humankind was fine blessings were plenteous. God is amazingly generous. Crazy benefits in a state of innocence. God told the land what he could taste was limited. Not long after came my nemesis in Genesis. He scammed well. Man fell. Damn to hell. The whole human race. He represented it. Fooled by the serpent. Man through his work. Woman through birth. Even the earth ruled by the curses. But instead of awake, immediately God said a sea would be the one to crush the head of the snake Yo, wait, what's this? Whoa, a gracious gift in Jehovah's faithfulness He clothed in nakedness This was so they would know the Savior's kiss and bliss But first many growing pains exist Suffering in the worst form of the deeds Eve's firstborn seed made his brother bleed Indeed, things got progressively worse Every section of the earth been affected by the curse And though God's judgments against sin were glory Praise the Lord, it's not the end of the story The great the greatest story ever told A God pursues foes whose hearts turn cold The greatest story ever told The story all that the enemy stole The greatest story ever told The glory of Christ is the goal Behold, the greatest story ever told Yeah Next scene, man's sin was extreme God gets steamed, man gets green The Lord is so holy that he drowned him in the water Fire in the valley of slaughter, Sodom and Gomorrah But at the same time he's so gracious and patient From one man he created a whole nation Eventually enslaved by the mentally depraved They cried out to the only one with the strength that he could save He brought him out with signs and wonders Satisfied the hunger Then he appeared on Mount Sinai in thunder Where he laid down the law for God ruled government Commonly referred to as the Mosaic Covenant Since so for men to know he's a righteous, God instituted animal sacrifices. This was to show our constant need for atonement. And when it came to sin, the 
the Lord will never condone it And when his people disobey and went astray He raised up prophets and kings to lead them in the way But they would get foul with their idolatry wet and wild Prophecy sent them into exile To take the punishment like a grown man Then with his own hand he placed them back in their homeland And while in their forefathers land they dwell They awaited the rival of Emmanuel It's the greatest story ever told The God pursues foes whose hearts turn cold The greatest story ever told The story all that the enemy stole The greatest story ever told The glory of Christ is the goal Behold, the greatest story ever told after 400 silent years, filled with sighs and tears, in Bethlehem the Messiah appears. God in the flesh, second person of the Trinity, at 30 begins his earthly ministry. Baffling cats with accurate exact facts and back-to-back -back miraculous acts. A stumbling block to the self-righteous, but to humble his plot, said there's no one else like this. He came from heaven to awake the numb, demonstrated his power over nature, son. A foretaste of the kingdom in the age to come, but the reason he came was to pay the sum for the death of our wickedness, our wretched sinfulness Bless his magnificence, he's perfected innocent Yet he was right in his death, he predicted it Next he was stretched, paid a debt that was infinite He said that he finished it, resurrected So the elect would be the recipients of his benefits Through faith and penitence we get to be intimate His grace is heaven sent, it never diminishes Not a Holy Spirit in, dwelling is the evidence For heaven's future residence Who truly represents Jesus, the author, producer, director And star of the story that'll never ever end Praise the Lord. Yes. He deserves it all. He deserves it all. This wasn't on the program, but I just feel led right now just to lead in a, a back and forth song of praise and worship. So just repeat after me. Let us adore. Let us adore. The ever living God. And render praise. Unto him, Unto him who spread out the heavens, out the heavens and, establishes the earth, and establishes the earth, and whose glory, and, whose glory and then together we say, is manifest through all the whole earth. Is manifest is manifest through while the whole earth let us adore, let us adore the ever living god, the ever -living god. And, render and render praise unto him unto who spread out the heaven and establishes, the earth. and establishes the earth. Yeah. And whose glory, glory is manifest throughout the whole earth, is manifest throughout the whole earth. Let us adore, Let us adore our sovereign Lord and God. Sovereign yeah. And render thanks, and render thanks unto, him unto Him, who's chosen a people, chosen a people and, redeemed us for his own, and redeemed us for His own, for His glory. And Christ the Lamb who's seated on the throne. And Christ the Lamb who's seated on the throne. Let us adore, Let us adore our sovereign Lord and God. And render thanks unto him. Who's chosen a, people, chosen a people and redeemed us for his own, for his glory. For his and Christ the Lamb was seated on the throne 
And Christ the Lamb who seated on the throne. And Christ the Lamb. And Christ the Lamb who seated on the One more time. And Christ the Lamb. And Christ the Lamb who seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Make some noise for Jesus, (laughs) y'all. Ah. What a privilege it is to be a part of this greatest story that's ever been told. And, you know, it it all centers on the person and work of the Lord Jesus and what he has accomplished. God has done the unthinkable in sending his son to come into the world to live the perfect life that none of us could ever live. To die on the cross and on the cross bear the full weight of the wrath of God that we deserve for our sin. And and brothers and sisters and and onlookers, the good news is that Jesus did not stay on the cross. He did not stay dead. Jesus is alive. He's alive and well. That's why we can gather here and get hype about the Lord because we serve a resurrected Christ. The Bible says if Jesus is not raised from the grave, then our faith is futile. I mean, it's pointless. We're still dead in our sins. There's no need to even be here. But Jesus is alive. And that's why we celebrate. So this next song is called Jesus is Alive. Somebody say, Jesus is alive. Let me hear you. We can do it. Let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Okay. He's alive, y'all. He's alive, y'all. Elvis is dead. Picasso is dead. Jimi Hendrix and Janis Joplin are dead. Marilyn Monroe is dead. However, Jesus is alive. Yeah, yeah. Brando is dead. James Brown is dead. Princess Dot and John Lennon, they're dead. Biggie Smalls and Pac are dead. However, Jesus is alive. Give praise to King Jesus, the blessed son, victorious, glorious, resurrected one. To him belongs the power, glory, and honor. Ascended where he sits at the right hand of the Father. At the cross he made atonement, his people he saved. After three days was raised and defeated the grave. By faith the elect behold him, his scepter is golden. Must have been hot or slippery cause death couldn't hold him. The spotlight is on today's icons. In a thousand years nobody will care and their light's gone. But at that time Christ will still shine bright. He's not in the limelight. He is the limelight Criminal minded You've been blinded Looking for the body of Jesus You won't find it We never lack spirit Letting you cast spirit. it This tomb is empty like most secular rap lyrics Plato is dead Socrates is dead Aristotle and Emmanuel Kant are dead Nietzsche and Darwin are dead However Jesus is alive Yeah Buddha is dead, Muhammad is dead, Gandhi and Haile Selassie are dead, Elijah Muhammad is dead, however, Jesus is alive. Throughout history there's been mad religious leaders, prophets, preachers, scholars, teachers, but when it came to the grave no one could climb out, that's where Jesus stands alone like taking a time out, and don't be misled, I got a level head, no resurrection, Christianity would have never spread, the disciples weren't stupid guys who would ruin their lives, and choose to die for what they knew was a lie, that would be beyond ridiculous, not an issue is the risen Christ seen by 500 eyewitnesses, imagine 500 people in the court of law, each of them taking the Stand, reporting what they saw. If their stories lined up, it made sense for evidence. But have to lead you convinced. But still, it's by faith that we trust and praise the Son who was raised for our justification. Check it out. Nero is dead. Constantine is dead. Genghis Khan, Attila the Hun is dead. Alexander the Great is dead. However, Jesus is alive. Napoleon is dead, Lao Tzu is dead, Che Guevara and Henry the Eighth are dead, Saddam Hussein is dead, however, Jesus is alive. Two 
faith in Christ, we've been saved from hell Because he's risen, it means we'll be raised as well And glorified bodies fit for the new earth For now we participate in the new birth The universal reality of the true church With resurrection power, watch the spirit do work United with Christ, we reside in his light The fire in his might, keep in stride As we fight the pride in our life The lies and the spite, we strive to be wise As he guides through the night He'll try and no slice, recognize that he's right His brightness inside lights our eyes and it's tight, decided to die or wash white All I strike, his life was the price to delight In his wife, he told death psych Just to rise like a kite All eyes on the Christ, let's prize him tonight Pharaoh is dead, Cyrus is dead Darius and Sennacherib are dead Nebuchadnezzar is dead However, Jesus is alive Caesar is dead, Herod is dead And it's Caiaphas and Judas are dead Pontius Pilate is dead However, Alive. Somebody say Jesus is alive. alive. Somebody say it. He's alive. Let me hear you say Jesus is alive. alive. Somebody say it. He's alive. I can't hear you say Jesus is alive. Okay. alive. Somebody say it. Risen one, the Lord Jesus. One more time, say Jesus is alive. alive. Somebody say it. Okay, I say He is risen. You say He is risen indeed. He is risen. He is risen. He is risen. He is risen indeed. Say Jesus is alive. Somebody say it. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. <laughs> indeed. Indeed. He's risen indeed. Yeah. Indeed. Indeed. So recently I came out with a children's album called Jesus Kids, and I also came up with a book called God Made Me and You, and it's basically celebrating God's design for diversity in his creation. He made all kinds of people. You just look around this room. I see all kinds of people, and that glorifies God because we're a people united under the banner of Jesus Christ is Lord, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and so... And so this next song I'm going to do is a, it's called God Made Me and You, and it's a celebration of that very reality. So I'm going to need your help. Um, any, any kids know this song, God Made Me and You? Yeah? You want to come up? You want to come up? You don't have to. It's okay. It's, no, 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 no. Okay. All right. I, I, won't, I, won't, I won't even do that to y'all. I won't even do it. Okay. All right. For the, for, the, for the bigger kids in the building who may not know the lyrics, amen. Um, <clears throat> Though we all have a different story. God made me and you. God made me and you for our joy and for his glory. God made me and you. God made me and you. Okay, we got it. Let's go. Yeah. It feels so good. Just make you just wanna bow, y'all. Yeah, he made us all, y'all. God made me and you. Let's sing it. God made yeah, yeah. When God created the heavens and earth, He did it to show off His glory and worth. In Genesis 1, what we see in each birth is God made a world that is truly diverse. From icebergs to insects, tornadoes to trees, from lions to lizards, from mangoes to fleas. Each in their own way that God they embrace it. The difference is cry out. God is amazing. But the crown jewel of the work of His hands, I made in His image, both woman and man. We're not accidents, we are part of His Some call it this 
listen to your other grown race. Cause you celebrate, it's a gift of God's grace. You're wonderfully made from your feet to your faith. God made me and you. Let's go. Say what? Say what? For joy, y'all. Say what? Say what? Yeah, at the cross we see what God's love is about. There's no type of person that Jesus can doubt. Because Jesus died and rose from the grave. All those who trust in the Lord will be saved in the book of Revelation. Chapter number seven. The church from all times is gathered in heaven. Each tribe of people, language, and nation. All thanking God for the gift of salvation. Together, forever, with saints of all kinds. To each the glory of the Lord's gonna shine. This is exactly what God has designed. When God made me and you, let's go. Say what? It again. Different colors and different shades, all fitfully and wonderfully made, to each the glory of God displayed. God made me and you. Yeah, for all the valued, all are lost, all the great need for the cross, Jesus died, rose, and paid the cost. God made me and you. Amen. Okay, so I got one more song and then I'm gonna get out of your hair. Aw, aw, you're too kind. Okay. This song is called C-H-R-I-S-T. And it's very simple. I'm gonna shout out a truth about the Christian faith and if you agree with it, all you gotta do is say, yeah. So for instance, Christ created all things, right? Lord of Lords, King of Kings, right? Yeah. He came through a virgin birth, right? Yeah. Got in the flesh, walked the earth, right? Yeah. Okay, y'all got that part. Excellent. And then on the chorus, we just spell out his title, C-H-R-I-S-T. So it goes C-H-R-I-S-T. We serve C-H-R-I-S-T. We praise, we serve, we praise, we love. C-H-R-I-S-T. S T. We serve C H R I S T. We praise C H R I S. We love. We love C H R. Okay. All right. So we'll, so we'll start low with it, and then we'll bring it up. So, so I'm about to get rowdy up in here. So I can't be like up here getting rowdy all by myself. Like I need y'all with me. Y'all. All right. Okay. Okay, let's try it. C H R I S T. We serve C H R I S T. We pray T. We pray C H R I S T. We love C H R I S T. Bring it up, bring it up. C H R I S T. We serve. Judge all the earth, right? He gonna show 
know what it's worth, right? Yeah. You send the wicked to hell, right? But with a stick, he'll dwell, right? Yeah. Okay. The only one famous who died for the lameness. Now that we're blameless, tell him what his name is. C H R I S T. We serve C H R I S T. We pray C H R I S T. We love C H R I S T. Bring it up, bring it up. C H R I S T. We serve C H R I S T. We pray. We're saved by grace alone, right? Through faith alone and Christ alone, right? To the glory of God alone, right? Based on scriptures alone, right? Jesus was crucified, right? And we're being justified, right? And we're being sanctified, right? And we'll be glorified, right? The Holy Spirit gives life, right? He makes us more like Christ, right? We baptize into the church, right? Empowers us to work right. Yeah. If we love him, we'll obey right. Yeah. And we need him, so we pray right. Yeah. Okay. The only one famous who died for the lameness. Now that we're blameless, tell him what his name is. C H R I S T. We serve C H R I S T. We pray C H R I S T. We love C H R I S T. Bring it up, bring it up. C H R I S T. We serve C H R I S T. We pray C H R I S T. We love C H R I S T. God bless y'all. Grace and peace. Just, just so y'all know, what we just did, that was just a warm up. I think we're ready now. This is the real version. Let's go. Baby. 
famous, you died for the lameness. Now that we're blameless, tell them what his name is. C-H-R-I-S-T, we serve C-H-R-I-S-T, we praise C-H-R-I-S-T, we love C-H-R-I-S-T. Bring it up, bring it up. Doxology. Praise God for whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above, ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Praise God for whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Shy out here. Do you remember that album Q and A when he said we need to learn about some terms about the atonement? Yeah. How did he start it? He said, "Who is God? Right? God is the universe, His Creator and Sustainer. Plus, the only Savior. There is no one greater. He's triune, holy, omnipotent, omniscient, absolute, loving, sovereign, and righteous. All a few of His attributes. How do we know this man? We know this from the Bible, where God has revealed Himself. Everything else is just an idol." What's the Bible about man's complete ruin and sin and what God has done in Christ to bring us to him again? What is sin? Sin is the breaking of God's law plus our condition with speeds from roughly all God's flaws. What's the result? The result is by nature we God's enemies must pay the penalty unless God provides the remedy. The remedy is the cross of Christ where he suffered all the strife for the lawless type. I've been rescued by the lamb. I'm convinced that he's risen and blessed is the man whose sins are forgiven. There we go. There we go. Oh, man. Well, what a delight it has been to worship with you all this evening. Oh, man. It has been, I have been so, so incredibly blessed. 
Let's give it up for the ministry that we have um, been recipients of. Let's hear it up for Ian, Zeta Blacksmith, T. Brindle, DJ Joe, Emma, Honest, and of course, let's give it up for the resurrected and ascended Lord. I'm tired, y'all. I'm tired. Oh, praise God. Well, I'll close us in a word of prayer. Great God and Father, the one who has redeemed us by the blood of your only begotten Son. The one whom you promised in the, in the seed, the gospel in Genesis 3.15, has in fact come to, come to pass. It has come to pass just like the words of Joshua, not one good word of all the good promises that God made to the house of Israel had failed, but all came to pass, and they have indeed come to pass in Jesus Christ, in whom all the promises of God find their yes and amen. And for that, we are truly grateful because we stand as people who are redeemed, redeemed from our sin, redeemed from our bondage, redeemed from Satan transferred from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his beloved son, Jesus Christ. And for that, our hearts are eternally grateful. So, Father, we worship you, and we worship the Son, we worship the Spirit, you, one God, three persons. So, Father, thank you for this time of getting to know new friends and seeing old friends. Thank you for this time of hearing your word um, through, through bars, um, and we have indeed truly been edified by such lyricism. So, Father, would you bless us as we return to our respective locations, give us safe travels, and give us uh, safety on the highways. I pray these things in Christ's name, who is worthy of all of our praise. Amen. Amen.